Just in the last two hours, we heard from federal officials with FEMA. They're working with communities in Georgia to help the st storm surge with flooding, potential power outages. Their crew includes search and rescue teams, members of the Department of Defense and the U.S. Coast Guard. They say they know they're going to be in coastal communities helping people get to safety. But again, they are asking everybody to listen to direction as the storm moves and shifts and to not take this lightly. We need everyone to heed the warnings of their local officials before, during and after this storm. There are life saving. These are life saving messages that simply cannot be ignored. The American Red Cross is reminding anyone who evacuates to take things like prescriptions, glasses, important documents. Take those along with you. The National Weather Service also spoke this morning, saying it's putting all of its resources forward to gather more information and better predict the storm's pattern. For the latest information on Hurricane Ian, as it is changing moment by moment, including the path of the storm and how your family can prepare, text the word Ian to the number here on your screen. It's 404-885-7600. We'll also send you a link to our full coverage online.